Hi friends, how are you? This is Mrs. Woodbury, and right now we're going to focus on the reading response to the book Ruby's Wish. You just did a read aloud about Ruby's Wish, and I really just want you to focus on the story that the woman read for you in that read aloud video. Um, and right now we're going to really delve into what the response is. What's the response to the question that we'll find out more about okay and this is all to build a strong foundation for writing about reading it's very important for us to not just read um, but we want to read to understand and we want to understand enough to be able to write about it okay so in doing that please remember it is in your best interest to use the sentence starters to answer the story's writing prompt also, please use the reading response rubric to make sure your work is complete and ready to be read by your teacher. This is what the reading response rubric looks like. Every single one of you has a copy of this in your new homeschool bag. So me and Miss Hanley, we made sure that every first grader got a reading response rubric. Please make sure you use it. Okay, friends? Vocabulary. Um, there are four words that really stood out to me, and one is university. University is a school where adults go to continue their education after they graduate from high school. Does anybody know anyone who graduated from high school and then went on to university? Sometimes people call it college. I bet you do. I bet you do. The next word is chuckle. Chuckle means to laugh quietly. So not like how you would laugh when you're outside at recess and you're with your friends and you're laughing so loud and screaming and have a great time. A chuckle is more like, <laughs> like almost like you're trying not to laugh out loud, but something is funny. Okay, so it's a laugh to laugh quietly. Bold, to be brave enough to take a risk. And assertive is having a confident personality. I hope that these are all characteristics that you can identify with, okay? Bold and assertive. Those are very great. Now, speaking of characteristics, we're actually going to talk about our main character in this book called Ruby's Wish. Now, I got to tell you, at first, this book looks like Ruby is just a character, right? We end up finding out that she's a real person, but let me not get too far into that right now. We're just going to focus on what type of person is Ruby in the book. What do we know? We know that her name is Ruby. We know that she's Chinese. She's female. She's a girl. And she seems to be quite smart. She likes the color red. And her wish, from what it looks like, she wishes to attend a university. And she seems to be pretty kind. So the book summary, this is just to give you some extra information or some clarity. Ruby's wish is based on a true story of the author's grandmother. So the person who wrote the book, she actually wrote it about her grandmother named Ruby. And at the time, Ruby was a little girl growing up in old China, living in a big traditional house headed by her wealthy, forward-thinking grandfather and filled with his many wives, children, and grandchildren. Now, we always go through books and say, hey, what kind of book was this? Is this fiction or nonfiction? And of course, this one was a little tricky because it does look like it's fiction. But the more we learn about it, we end up finding out this is story talk, but it's story talk about some facts that really happened to someone. So I got to tell you, friends, even though it seems like, hey, it actually can be fiction, it's actually a children's book to make the nonfiction a little more friendly and it actually is nonfiction, friends. I got to tell you, I know it's so strange. There are illustrations and everything, but we do have to remember there was that one photo of the real Ruby at the end. Um, and even though it's story talk, it was story talk about something that really happened. And even though there was a beginning, middle and end, this really still was about something that really happened to someone. It's facts. So we can't. We can't argue there, friends, okay? This book is nonfiction. Now, what was Ruby's wish? That's the big question. What was Ruby's wish? The book is called Ruby's Wish. We read it, and now we have to ask ourselves, hey, what was her wish after all? Well, let's see. In the picture, I mean, I see her taking care of her learning. 
Um, and then in the text, let's see, what does it say in the text? Oh, yes, I remember this. This is when she's talking to her grandfather, when she got really bold enough to just share her thoughts and her true feelings. She was saying, you know, I just I just really want you to know I want to I want to do something that maybe a lot of girls don't do. Um, and he says, well, don't you want to be married? Ask her grandfather, you know, you are very lucky. A daughter of this house can marry any man. I know, grandfather, said Ruby, but I'd much rather go to university. Ruby's grandfather touched her hair. Thank you for talking to me, Ruby, he said. Go on with your lessons. Make the most of them while you can. Hmm, what did he say thank you for? And what did she just make very plain to him? What she would much rather do? That sounds like that might be her wish to me. Mm-hmm. The page really look like this. You see, there she is. She's taking a risk and she's telling him exactly what she really feels and thinks. She says, hmm, I'd much rather. Hmm, I think that's the wish there. Let's see, your sentence starters are here. And I actually helped you out. <laughs> so Ruby's wish was to continue her education. She wanted to continue learning, stretching that brain of hers, okay? So Ruby's wish was to continue her education. For example, in the picture, I see her taking care of her, what was she taking care of? Let's see, what does she look like she's taking care of? Every time she's at school, it looks like she's taking care of her. Mm, do you know that word? I know you do. We say it in class. I know Miss Hanley's um, class says it too. We want to make sure that we're taking care of our, and it looks like Ruby is taking care of her blank. Also in the text, Ruby told her grandfather, what did she tell him? Let's look at it again. What did she say? I know grandfather, but I'd much rather go to university. Hmm. What did she say? Also in the text, Ruby told her grandfather, blank. This tells me Ruby's wish was to make sure that last sentence always supports your first sentence, okay? All right, friends, I helped out enough there. You have your sentence starters. I hope you write them down and fill them in properly. I know you can, I believe in you. Um, according to the text, you have all you need, okay? Um, and again, this is just a reminder, please take out your reading response rubric and use it so that you know exactly what you need to do or you know exactly what you've already done. Please be honest with the checks and don't just check them in quickly, 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 but really pay attention to what it's asking, okay, to make sure that you have it so that you have the best work possible. Okay, friends, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I certainly did. I'll see you next time. Okay, friends. Bye.